Welcome to Other Levels. Today, you will learn how to create this finance status and forecasting dashboard using Microsoft Excel. Join our channel membership and enjoy the full video tutorial. You can get this template by visiting our online store, other-levels.com. Let's start. This is the dashboard dataset, and now we will start creating the dashboard background. Insert a rectangle. Fill it with a gradient color. Then insert a rounded rectangle shape. Fill it with a gradient of dark colors. We will use a line to separate the charts and slicers. Now let's add the dashboard title and the logo. Next insert some rounded rectangle shapes for the chart's backgrounds. Fill it with a solid dark color. Here we will add the total values, so we have to highlight this background. For this forecasting background, make the transparency 28%. We will add a shadow for these two backgrounds. Search and insert for a proper images from the online picture. Then send it to back. Now the dashboard ready for adding the charts and values. Let's start add the forecasting report. This part is updating manually. So add here your report then we will add it to the dashboard using four text boxes, by linking each one with the correct cell. In the next part we will insert a pivot table to get multiple values and charts for the total values, contract, invoices, and liberation. Add the type to the rows field, and the value to the values field. We will link each amount to multiple cells, to be able to link it with a text box on the dashboard. Here get the percentage, we will show it as a chart on the dashboard.
Let's insert a donut chart showing the liberation percentage. Change the chart colors. Reduce the chart size, then move it to the dashboard. Remove the outline color. Then format the font size and colors. Next, expenses by domain column chart. Copy the previous pivot table, then add the domain to the row field, and add the value and target to the values field. We need only to show these values for the invoice type. Now get the gap amount and percentage. Then select the pivot table and insert a 2D column chart. This is the color codes used for this chart. Change the domain name orders to appear good. Then add the data labels. Rotate the labels 270 degree. Let's move the chart to the dashboard and continue formatting. The amounts will look better when remove the currency symbol. Finally add the gap amount and percentage. Next, the expenses by location column chart. Copy the previous pivot table, then add the accounting date to the row field, and add the value and target to the values field. Then insert a line chart. Please follow the used formatting. Next, the Profits and Loss column chart. Next, 
Next, the expenses per year table. Add the years and amounts. Then we will use if formula to highlight the top amount by adding max text beside the amount on the dashboard. Finally, insert three slicers to control the dashboard results. That's all for today's video. Hope you learned something useful for you. Join our channel membership and enjoy the full video tutorial. On the other hand, you have an easy way to directly purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you, and see you in the next video.